Dang, this slob gonna have my bowels all gummed up. Lovely as always, Miss O'Shea. George. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to retire. Hello, Arthur. Long time, girl.
Shut up. <laughs> been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. But what about board and their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. If this is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> they feel right. I just told you. Get Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two-bit thugs from... 
from God knows where. You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you a hundred times over. This is the Gray's town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out! Yet. Oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold. Shit load of trouble. Shit load of trouble. I'm back, girl. Yep. अब कहाँ जा के चलो चलों बाज़ हूँ Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took 
My son! Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son! I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now! Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him! Rest of you! Okay, let's go get that boy back! Hello, I. So the gun will go up to longer carbon to the field rifle. Bolt action rifle. Rolling bag rifle. Rare rolling bag rifle. Get out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard. Hey, I'm on you. 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 I'm I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get? Is he going? To us? I don't know, but we are getting him back, and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Damn about the goal. They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Any goal to do? Oh, he's going to kill him. He's going to kill him. All right, everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. I think he's going to kill him. 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 First song, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. Open up the door, open up the door. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? 
Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land! If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... No! 
You want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag in the tie. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Jack. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! Take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite. You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. 
But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Come on, girl. Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few years? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Mosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, back to what you were saying. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me. Dutch, Hosea, it's been a long time now. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look.
again. Boys, get ready! Damn it, still some here. I can see that. Think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. I'd advise you to run, you son of a bitch! Dead or alive! You're leaving this place today! Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you. You're the one hiding, I'm me. You come home. Tough guy, eh? Lock, lock the gun. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some other coward. Like you. Bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpetbaggers. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. How's it looking up there? I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? You coming? Ah, the wrong thing lagra. Get away, puppy. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Are you gonna help me carry these then? Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. All right, see you soon. I hope. Por defecto, toda la memoria. 
game along the hill though. Corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes. Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. got going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two i got far more important things to worry about right now than molly o'shea so where are we going to take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world sand denis i keep hearing about according to the map the road up this way should lead us right in there all right i guess this day ain't over yet not quite Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? Phew, loose end. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody... We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. We're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. cities they're always repellent exactly I'll find you in there go see what you can figure out yes Saint Denis. Is that a pro? 
problem. Go to the guy. अच्छा अभी तो मेरे को राइट साइड रंग साइड एक साथ में लग रहा है क्या? पिक्चर में <laughs> Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Cool, Rato, make cool. Kappadhe thode casual hai. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lemoyne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we're over here. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. <laughs> Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. क्या हो गया राइट क्लिक का ऑप्शन नहीं आ रहा मैंने पहले कर दिया क्या ऑर्डर Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big? Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. <laughs> You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, and friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Come 
on now. This sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not... N Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, buy bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Steeples. Hey, hey, you little bit of shit! Get going! He's coming after us! You give that back! Warning, boy! friend give me my thanks boy what are you talking about friend i ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to angelo bronte senor bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> ah. come on you new in town mister come on <laughs> 
Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a big <laughs> house and I'm proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about them all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way each to land we know. Far from real open country. We've got the you won't find fresh fruit right here, folks. Buenos dias, senor. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Morning to you. Lovely morning to you. Right over here. Here. Hello again. That was quick. Chosen. Morning, ma'am. Mm. Uh, buenos dias, senor. I've had better days, that's for sure. Ay, qué lástima. Buenos dias. Excuse yourself.
Buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Hello. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art for it. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else can find me a drink, I will go. Die, Dark. Fine morning to you. Morning. Bonjour, monsieur. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. 
Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Hey there. Grave robbers? You think it's a good idea? No idea. 
What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's a thrilling person. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Brontus. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branch. For all the money we cost him. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Why are you messing with me today? Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Keep looking. to drink. Our friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. Get up off of those son of a bitch! You can hardly see what I'm shooting at! 
We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Get down. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Quick, let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. Collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. All right, then. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said. You took your time. I'm glad to see you. 
Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Hey. Let's go! We have a new camp. Head up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Passing you. Sounds good. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh... Quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family.
Us again. Here you are. Eat up. Thanks. Doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you, John. I'm sorry if I was. Well, I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have Clean through. Instead, they hang the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Maybe play some for Jack later. I'll ask him in a bit. Well, okay. Home, little Jack. <laughs> you love me really, Grimshaw. Oh, once I was a snake down in Main Lane. My master used to be my mistress did the same. To learn you want And a sailor boy came. Oh, and he's the one that turned me into a dirty little 
He asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being all little fool and thinking Just my job to go back to say hi. Ain't nobody ever gonna take him again. Where I wanna be. Ain't no being home, boy. With the girl on either knee. With that little ribbon. Had an accordinated blue. Let him find the way. He finds you. You mean like a normal thing? He rumbled me. He tackled me. He threw me to the wall. He never let me catch my breath. I got no sleep at all. He up me and he down me. And he caught me out of the end. And he fucked me black and blue. Of course it was a sin. Ain't no good. Ain't no bad. Early in the morning before the break of day. That make you feel good or make you feel sad. And just the length of time between being born and dying. Come on along now. Hey, hey, what is it, Morgan? Sorry, <laughs> it was too tempting. I'm gonna go back to sleep. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith. And we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. Here's a real plan. We are gonna leave this place. And we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji, Australia, 
the real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its best. Stay out of my way, O'Driscoll. See happy. What is it? You were snoring, that's all. Just save it for the morning. You fellas certainly know how to have fun, Mr. Arthur. Sure. If I had stayed with old Driscoll, you'd have probably killed me by now. You ever think of that? We'd have both died at Six Points Cabin. Yes, that's true. Oh, brother, I am really drunk. Stop acting like idiots. Stop acting like a drunken idiot. I learned it from you. Just calm down. These days will get you singing. 
<laughs> you don't want to hear that, I promise. Oh, but I do, Herr Strauss. मेरी जगह है वो Grinder. Okay. Yes. My God, what did I drink? Are you right? Oh dear. Stream. 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 How are you? been okay before but then I make a fool of myself again so do I I went into town so did I if I was still a, a religious man I'd say there are too many Catholics there but I've, I've given up on all Sorry, that. is there any way we can leave this until later oh
Get over here. What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Oh, well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Who cows? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? <laughs> I don't know. Small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> okay, let's mount up. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the road's turnoff. So how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon in Rhodes a bit. Rhodes? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fish wire. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Mm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> We're gonna cut That's up this I'm way. gonna see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. All right, let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up close. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can, so shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. <laughs> now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ, I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, shit, you hear that? Get your gun out. Let's get...
You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? Him up. Oh, oh. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, this here is a rusty padlock. Hurry up. You do it. You think you could do it faster? Shut up. Shut up and... Turn around. Put your hands up in the air. What are you doing, boys? Nothing. You know, we kill rustlers around these parts. Well, now, just wait. I'll give you till the count of five to get the hell out of here. One. Two. Let's go. Three. Four. Go on. No good, cocksucker. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Come on!
stupid animals ain't going where we want them to. Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move them right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Why well, pay your friend here? Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. There. Don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Idiot. Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gone. Please.
But everyone deserves a second chance. Come on. Please. Whoa, hey! Jesus! Just point the gun at the shackles now. Come on, please. There you go. Oh! oh thank God! Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. Never gonna get the hang of this. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But uh, well uh. Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's 
under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it! There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off, and, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy, ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your aunt. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... Take some age. Move out of the darn way! There, sir. Sorry. Church grounds are closed. Okay. It's, uh, good of you to be doing it out of hours, I guess. I'll come back in the morning. things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, look, we're closed for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick uh. you, bastard! I'm gonna beat you, boy! Uh. Got some nerve uh. on you! Uh. How did... Uh. Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Quick, take it before somebody sees us. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. I can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That's that's your morning.
more than, than clear what I, what I owe you. <laughs> hey, mister. Hello. Pay me what you got, mister, and you won't get What are get you hurt. playing at? Hold on. What's this all? Shut the hell up. Stop. Why me? Nice doing business with you. I want nothing to do with this. Yep. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things. Well, howdy now. Yeah.
This way. Come on. Hi, Pearson. Oh. Mr. Summers. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Her I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. What do you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right in due a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said... You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> I'll take that. Shit! What the hell you think you're doing?
It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's get mm -hmm. you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front's the boss. Bring him back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right, get after them. so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Look at the floor for a bit. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow, oh, I am coward. <laughs> Get off me. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your what? time now. Uh, what the hell? You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. Would you shut your mouth now, Anthony? I've heard enough. Son of a bitch.
All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little ch chance. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? Damn coward. Oh, shit. She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now... You want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. All right, you. <sighs> Let's get you home. Yeah! Now get out of here. Let's go. All good here?
Mr. Trelawney. Morning, Arthur. Mrs. Adler. Good morning. Morning. You have anything better to do? Who's that? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. 
Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, the thing, you know? This away, please, gentlemen. Uh, Senor Brante will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has uh, the thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. Cowboys, you've arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me, like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me.
gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good evening, friend. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall wants his name. Ah, get me a bloody drink, will you? Champagne, yes, sir. Just you know, oh, oh, it's all very well, but my darling could do better. Oh, you're not such a philistine as all that. Well, how's the show? I heard you went. <laughs> Ooh, outrageous! <laughs> These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French culture. Just dance, gentlemen. Uh, I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskins. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. I'll say you and me oh. cool off. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. Problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! 
find that little reprobate Jip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Hello, mister. <clears throat> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Oh. Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are going to run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. 
Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Tell you what, Little Miss Romance, I was right about what, Sandini. Huh? 